Okay, now that we have our volume, we need to try and estimate the size of the volume. Well, the easiest way to do that is just to count voxels. So let's close this window. Go ahead back to MATLAB. And we should have an object here. We'll use the the one that we created that has the um, that doesn't have the virtual slices, which is we put a one in there. And we'll load that volume in. Okay, so here's the volume. It's called I. If I view part of the volume very quickly, I'll just type I am show I colon colon about um, about slice twenty five. Oh, I made a mistake. <clears throat> this is actually the volume. This is the volume that we did use the virtual slices on. Sorry about that. Because it has 53 slices, so that means there's two slices for every image. But that's okay. No problem. So here's what we do. Let's view part of that volume. Aha! This is what it looks like. It is a grayscale, well, it's an indexed image, and you can see that it, the values range from 0 to 1, so we have to threshold it. So let's go ahead and threshold this volume. This volume. That's simple. T i equals <clears throat> i greater than 0 0.5. Okay, now we have a thresholded logical volume. If I show that, T i, aha, look what we get. So now we have all zeros and all ones. So all we have to do now is just count the number of voxels. How do we do that? That's easy. nvox equals find ti. This will simply find, make a list of all of the voxels that have a 1. And if we look at the length of it, there are 22,883 voxels. So now, let's compute the volume. Volume equals size and box of the first. Uh, that we could have just said size and box, but we'll just do it formally. And box one times the volume of each voxel, which in this case we know <clears throat> is zero point two seven two seven times zero. 0.2727 and in this case since we use two virtual slices and we know that each slice is four millimeters thick then we multiply by two okay and that should give us there it is the volume in millimeters cubed I believe that's correct yeah in millimeters cubed of the object okay unless I've made a mistake I think that's it so that's your second little tutorial